So what we have are weave poles and we have jumps. And right now we're doing the tunnel, which is everyone's favorite. It's easy to get dizzy watching all of the agility exercises Rolissa Nash just described. Nash is the co-owner and the principal of Doggy U Canine Academy based in Bayshore. And she tells me her furry students are excited to be at this weekend's fifth annual Long Island Pet Expo, where they can strut their stuff and meet pet lovers who have an interest in agility. Being up close and personal gives you an, a chance to touch the dogs, to really experience something that you've only seen on TV, so it's a wonderful thing. While the majority of floor space at the Expo is devoted to entertainment, just as much focus is centered on education. Harold, jump. There you go. Even I learned firsthand how quickly a papillon, like four-year-old Earl, can get used to a new handler. Truth be told, Earl knew I would be rewarding him with lots of cheese when he was all done. You were fantastic. I, you could be an excellent handler, okay. especially you have the energy. May have a second career. On a more serious note, organizers say the performers and vendors who are on hand play a major role in educating crowds not only about animals, but about responsible pet ownership. Folks checking out rainforest reptile shows, for example, will embark on an adventure that seeks to explain why these endangered reptiles are so important for our environment. Many exotic reptiles, like this guy over here, Fred the American Alligator, will be a part of the show. And while state law prevents spectators from being able to touch Fred or this Burmese python named Butch, presenter Michael Robolsky believes audiences will be blown away by the personal story behind each reptile. Every animal here is one that was in a bad situation. Law enforcement, drug busts, whatever it might have been. We don't buy animals. They all come to us through seizure or confiscation, and then we educate with them. Robolsky tells me these educational shows help give these reptiles a second lease on life because they are unable to return to the wild. In Brentwood, Ron Lee, Fios One News.